Okay, welcome to second grade at Pelican Marsh. This is our professional learning community and we'll be walking you through what we do here. My name is Stephanie Parker. I'm the PLC facilitator. I'm Judy Teach. I'm the second grade team leader and my role is the communicator on the team. I'm Susan Tracy and I'm the task master. <laughs> I'm Kim Forrestal and I'm the timekeeper. And I'm Angela Lorzell, and I'm the recorder. Here in our professional learning communities, we've designed them to have organized, systematic, focused team planning, be driven by the team and student needs, use team strengths to improve student achievement, facilitate learning from team members, and foster a deeper understanding of the benchmarks students need to master. Some of the roles that we've assigned to our groups are our facilitator, recorder, timekeeper, taskmaster, communicator, and resource collector, which we all play a part in. We structure our PLC meetings by setting up a weekly planning time. As necessary, we have a member of administration present to assist us. Encourage member participation through their roles in PLC facilitator. We wrap up each meeting with agreed upon duties for each member to complete, discuss agreed upon actions for the next meeting, and we forward all our documents and meeting agenda to our administrators. We'll start by modeling our PLC meeting by showing you A, getting to know your standards, B, showing your knowledge of the standards, and C, ending with analyzing student achievement planning. So we're not going to do that. Okay. All right. To get this meeting started, we ended last week's meeting talking about a uh, science target. We'd like to do habitats. So at this time, if you would pull out your science standards, uh, your PLC binders, we can look at those, try to match one. I think if you look on the third page, you'll find the big idea 17. Okay. And okay. The body of knowledge is life science, and the big idea 17, the first A is plants and animals, including humans, interact with and depend upon each other and their environment to satisfy their basic needs. Mm -hmm. B is both human activities and natural events can have major impact on the environment, and C, energy flows from the sun through producers to consumers. So we're trying to summarize that um, to come up with a big idea. Does anybody have a suggestion how we can uh, summarize? Can tie it all together? Okay. Uh, well, we're going like to, to well, well, we could actually do um, more of a, like an interdependence, kind of bring it all together with the plants and animals. Okay, because each one does um, bring up that one depends upon the other so interdependence would be a great word mm -hmm. just to use one just word then okay so hold on a minute i've got we've got our form sticking to the standards that i'm pulling out while we're discussing everything okay and the first thing we start with with is just taking role and and noting who our guests are um, we're pelican marsh elementary and it's may 20th 2009 Stephanie Parker's our PLC facilitator and we're the second grade team. So now what we're doing now is we're going to be filling out getting to know your standards. So I need you to tell me the standard that we're going to fill okay. in here. Life science is the standard. Okay. And we just Hold on. Go to your Okay. And we agreed upon interdependence as our big idea after reading the three choices Inter that we had dependence. okay okay there's two benchmarks and I'll read those and you guys can decide which one we want to target okay this week the first one is compare and contrast the basic needs that are all living things including humans have for survival and the other one is recognize and explain that living things are found all over earth but each is only able to live in habitats that meet the basic needs. So which one do you want to focus want on? More habitats. habitats. So okay, the since habitats, the second, one the second ones. Be, yeah. okay. okay, so Angela, the second okay. one is SC period. Okay, hold on, I, S, 
S period, C period? No, no SC, SC period. Okay. Two period, L period, one seven period two. And okay. I'll read it again so you can type it. Recognize and explain that living things are found all over Earth. Okay. But each is only able to live in habitats that meet its basic needs. That sounds more. Does that? Yeah, that okay. sounds more like what we need to do. The kids at this time. Okay, so benchmark SC 2.L.17.2. Recognize and explain that living things are found all over Earth, but each is only able to live in habitats that are able to meet their basic needs. Right. Good? Good. Okay. And we'll have to have a writing component with that as well. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, okay so, so we need to get our writing standards out then. at all the inform information, the standard. With the informative? Have, yeah, the informative standard. So I guess all we want writing would be our, our big idea. So, but in, is it informative writing? Is that what it Inf would be under? Or? Yes, informative. Right. Oh, the or, the oh, strand writing. or body of mm -hmm. knowledge is writing and then big idea, Sue so thought, informative right. writing. Okay. 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 I'll read this one and see if you agree with it. Okay. Okay. The student develops and demonstrates technical writing that provides information related to real world tasks. And then we have um, some standards that follow underneath that that we can look at. Okay. 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 And looking at, we could scan those and looking at our choices. Can you read it to me? So you want me to it. read the yes the standard first? So okay. The student develops okay. and demonstrates technical writing that provides information related to real world tasks. Yes. Okay, so let me see if I've got it right. The student develops and demonstrates technical writing that provides information related to real world tasks. Yeah, that's right. And we okay. could take a look at the different. My form's doing funky stuff, so I may have to work on it a little bit afterwards. Okay, okay there's a few choices, but while you were doing that, I was uh, you know, scanning some of this, and the um, graphs don't work on the list. I was thinking of. What would make sense is an expository paragraph, uh, maybe a topic sentence, and some details to support that. That yeah, would work with that's what we always thing. want them to have is topic You know, where sentence. they have the main idea or mm -hmm. the topic sentence and then details to support it mm -hmm. about okay. the habitat. Okay. okay. So do you have a, is there a benchmark that goes Yeah, I'll that? give you that. Okay. Okay. L, A, decimal, uh, you know, period two, period four. Period two, period three. Okay. Okay, and I'll read it to you. Okay. It says write information, informational. Informational? Yes. Okay. Expository paragraphs. That contains a topic sentence supporting details. And supporting details? Well, or comma, comma, supporting details okay. and relevant information. Yeah, this time of year they should be able they to. Should, yeah. no problem. They can apply those three. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me read that back. And okay. Benchmark is LA 2.4.2.3. 
write informational expository paragraphs that contains a paragraph, sorry, that contains a topic sentence supporting details and relevant information. Yep, very good. Thank you. Okay. The next piece that we work on, we look at what do students need to do to demonstrate mastery of the standard. So while you were busy looking through the writing, I was looking through our science okay. book. Okay. And we've been working in chapter 14. And uh, if you go to page 456, in order to do this uh, benchmark, the students would have to know the habitats. Okay. okay. So in our book, um, so Angela, I think okay, we should gonna, write. Okay, let me just general knowledge what they have to be able to. Okay, let me just open a um, Word document and just kind of take start to build the um, assessment a little okay. bit. Okay. 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 So let's, uh, you've got different habitats. Let's go ahead and put those down. Okay, so the ones that the students would have to know are desert, okay, rainforest, grassland, tundra, ocean, and the pond. The pond, okay. That's all things they can access here in the science course. Right. So they've had reference to it. And what else are they going to have to know, um, well, Kim? What do you think? Besides the habitats. Besides the habitats, do you want to work on critical thinking skills or add to um, what they're going to need to write a topic sentence mm -hmm. and then other sentences yeah, so and supporting the writing? Okay, let's put happens. the writing in with that then. So the student will need to write a topic sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. So should we start to build the, you want to write the, the directions? Prompt yeah, the prompt question or whatever, okay. So write a paragraph. Containing a topic sentence. Okay. How about, yeah. Well, what are we going to give them well, for the prompt? They have to write prompt. a paragraph the, yeah. about uh, an animal. Uh, but then if we just habitat. say to pick your animal, they're all going to choose. You'll probably right. choose the same right. thing. Yeah. We'll have to figure Why don't we, um, so that they all don't get upset about what animal or choose the same one. Why Everybody don't we chooses just, a polar bear. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Let, how about if we have pictures of um, animals and they can just randomly draw and that's whatever animal they have, that's the one they have to match to it to the habitat. Okay. So we need to have pictures. Then. Right. Okay. So we need to pictures. have this ready. So we can do that for the next meeting. Right. Okay. So we're going to write a paragraph. How about in your paragraph name? Name what? We got. We need to name that animal in the habitat. Yes. Animal, animal in the habitat, right? The habitat where your animal lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Maybe okay. explain uh, specific characteristics of the habitat. Okay. And why the animal? Lives there. Lives there. And right. Good to. Okay, explain the specific characteristics of the habitat and why your animal why lives your there. Why your lives animal there. lives there. Your animal lives there. Okay. And directions as to writing complete sentences, yes. right? <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Please write complete sentences and we tell them you know give them an idea of what the what rubric we're going to be basing it on so how many so we go back we'll how many back sentences or, or how long or right yeah okay. we'll come back you, to we it. can come back okay all right need to do oh okay now you want to go to critical thinking yes skill? so go back to our um, worksheet that we're working sticking to the standards okay Okay. So we filled in the part about general knowledge. No, we didn't fill it in. So we need to put need down to that do they need that. to know the habitats. Okay. So tell me what you want me to write. The students. Mm -hmm. 
will need to know. And then we need to list the same right. habitats. These habitats. Desert. Yeah. Rainforest. I'm gonna know these by heart. I know. <laughs> Grassland. <laughs> Tundra. Ocean. Ocean. And pond. And pond. Yes. Okay. And the student will need to be able to do what? Pass um, out what about the writing too. Right. They have, have to, to be able, able to, to write, write a, a topic. Topic. Yeah, write a topic <laughs> sentence first of all. We decided. You'll need to write a topic a sentence. And other supporting, 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 and supporting details. details. Okay. Right. Should we tell them how many details? I was wondering, we might want to. Yeah. <laughs> so they <laughs> we'll yeah, that very that. specific. We'll do that, that when we do okay. the rubric, the rubric, I think. Rubric. That's mm -hmm. Okay, and other su supporting okay. details. Okay. Okay, so the student will need to know these habitats, desert, rainforest, grassland, tundra, ocean, and pond. The student will need to write a topic sentence and other supporting details. Sounds good. And actually a comma would not go in there, so yikes. Okay. How about if we go to the critical thinking and real world application and if you guys brought your blooms with you, we can, let's flip to level four. Okay. Uh, we used a couple, we used relationships the last time and category, categorize and classify, so let's pick an Something new, kind yes. Of. Okay. Let's just go with the first one. Let's do okay. analyze. Okay. Analyze. Okay. Analyze. Okay. Analyze. Okay. Hey, you're so agreeable. <laughs> <laughs> so the students need to analyze. <laughs> okay. So let's start off here. The whoops. The student will go ahead. I uh, need to analyze different habitats. habitats. Okay. What the animals, the animals that belong to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then throw in also why. And put in why. Okay. 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 Yeah, we need why. Why. Yeah, the and why is the big point. Okay. Right? Exactly. Okay. And um, that's good. Since the students have pets at home, some of them have animals of them at home, do. maybe they can, they can relate that. Kind of relate that. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, plus, it'll make it more fun for them, right? Yeah. Because they'll to enjoy writing about their, their own pets. Animals. Then why okay. don't we contrast the pets? Okay. okay. With, that's also a that'll be our keyword contrast okay. Okay, the pets so with the habitat. The student mm -hmm. will contrast, contrast right. um, their pets. How does it go? Why um, their pets? Uh, what do you think? Oh, what's a contrast? Oh, why their pet their pets needs? needs? Yeah, the, we'll contrast their pets' needs. Their pets' needs, okay. To their, their habitat. With their habitat. In their habitat. To with their the habitat of home habitat or right, right. Okay. their home habitat. Because I don't want a fiddler crab that's been it's at home, <laughs> but then they start doing the ocean again, uh, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, so their home habitat. Students will contrast their pets' needs to their home habitat. To that of versus it, well you want to contrast so you want to okay. versus, versus that uh, habitat of the student of the student is that all right different needs than the actual student so now I'm let's see how that sounds the students will contrast their pets needs to their home habitat so is it their habitat at home or is it their, <laughs> their habitat special in the habitat line? I guess you could say special, their special habitat. habitat okay. <laughs> That would sound better. Okay. Yeah, because I think if yeah. I'm confused, they're going to be. I know. Okay. And versus the habitat of the student. Yes. Right. Okay. So that makes that sense. That works. Okay. So we used analyze. Analyze. And contrast. And, and contrast. then telling why makes it higher level. Okay. 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 So we need to do a, develop our rubric. Yes. And for sticking. Next, we need to create okay. the product. Is that right? Rubric. Uh huh. Okay, so on the sticking to the standards form, we have a rubric. Um, show your knowledge of the standards, and we do have a PowerPoint that goes with it. So we'll look at that real quickly here. Just take us through the levels. Okay. So here are the levels. The first is exemplary. 
Um, with exemplary, we would use words like concise, succinct, comprehensive, precise, exact, rigorous, or significant. So kind of keep those in your head. Maybe write down the one you really like. Um, we can go ahead. Maybe we, we should, should pick one now. Yeah. So let's go to oh, the yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That would be easier. Okay, you're right. So the student. Okay. Names the animal and the house.